Yeah, that was incredible. Great pavement. Yeah, that is phenomenal. In the rugged heart of West Virginia's coal country is the town of Matoka. Heading north out of town, we followed Highway 10 and found the unexpected seven flowing, twisting miles on perfect pavement. Afterwards, we were left wanting more, and someday we will return to finish what we started. One of the better roads we've done. Like ever. If you're new to TrueView, we're on a search to find and drive the best back road. If it has a double yellow line, we're game to try it. At the end of each drive, we give the road a score. Stick around to see where this drive falls on our list and join our mission to find and drive the best back road. Like the tail of the dragon or the rattler, this road should have a nickname. About the next four or so, maybe five are transit, but then there's some really twisty bits.
After each drive, we give the road a score and add it to the list of our best back roads. With 100 plus corners in just seven miles, the twisty turns come fast and often, eight of 10. Despite the twisting nature of the road, like a smaller version of Georgia 348, the road flows well, seven of 10. At just seven intense miles, we really wish it were longer, six of 10. Traffic is very light and there are passing lanes on the northbound climb. Wait for a gap to ensure a clear run, four of five. The pavement and signage are the best we've encountered. Five of five. With a driving score of 30 points, West Virginia 10 is tied with Georgia 19. The road is a sleeper. You won't find it on any lists. Not yet, anyway. Two of five. With 32 points overall, West Virginia 10 comes in at number nine on our list, just ahead of Virginia 250. Check the channel for a playlist with every video in our Best Backroad series. If you haven't already, subscribe and join us on our next drive as we continue our mission to find and drive the Best Backroad.